Gimli is an awesome place for a weekend getaway. It's got easy access to the beach, great restaurants nearby, and it's all just a short drive from Winnipeg. Gimli! We are staying at the Inon Center, which is amazing. There are a few things in particular that we absolutely love, including our room, which is super comfortable, spacious, beautifully decorated, and nice and cool in the summer heat. We are also loving this beautiful porch that I'm sitting on right now. We've been spending a lot of time here. We've had coffee, we've had snacks, we've had drinks. It's a great spot for games and lounging. And the flowers out here are honestly just like to die for. It's beautiful. We started our adventure by strolling along the seawall out to the point, taking in the harbour, views of the lake and of course the seawall gallery. For some background on the paintings, pick up the Gimli Seawall Gallery book which you can find around town. For lunch, we popped into Seagulls at the Lakeview Resort. Billed as the best patio in the area, it has a great view of the beach and delicious food. Uh, this is the Seagulls signature salad, and um, I ordered some pan-fried pickerel to go on top, which is en route. Their portions are generous, and everything we had was super fresh. With Gimli Beach so close, we couldn't miss the opportunity to go for a swim. Well, at least one of us could. It may seem like a small thing to like our video, but it really does help. Subscribes do too. Big, big thank you from us. A little later we headed to Ship and Plow because we'd heard great things about their pickerel tacos. While there, we learned about another local favorite. So you say this one's the best? That's what I'm saying. Little dill pickle juice, local stuff, local pork, local pickle, yeah. local olive, local vodka. Well, let's get the double. This is a double. Oh. Yeah, it's the best. Great way to get your day going you yeah. know, before you hit the beach. The man we met inside was not lying. This is one of the best Caesars, if not the best Caesar I've ever had. So yeah, if you like Caesars, ship and plow. Definitely come out here. Very good. The pickle's like super crispy and tasty. And whatever this sauce is, it's really yummy. I like it. There's a smoke. <laughs> you got your classic, you got a little cigarette, somebody saving for later, and some sort of little toy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> When you're in Gimli, people ask you if you've been to the statue, but what they don't mention is how amazing all of Viking Park is. The gardens, the flowers, the signage, the whole experience was fantastic. And of 
course, no day at the beach is complete without some ice cream. So we popped down to First Avenue and picked up some cool treats at Country Boy, one of several great ice cream shops in town. That's pretty good. Mmm, soft ice cream, vanilla. It's the first time I've had this in two and a half decades. Mm. Very nice. Hmm? <laughs> what? I got a uh, hot bud sundae with peanuts, which is of course amazing. Mm. I'm sad that it's almost gone. Your ice cream? Yes. After a late night walk on the beach, we picked up a pizza at Brennevin's to enjoy in our room. We chose the super yummy Sicilian pizza. It had pepperoni, Italian sausage, red peppers, red onions, and two kinds of cheeses. It was the perfect choice. We also ordered a small Caesar salad. Very delicious. Classic Caesar salad stuff. Another great bonus to staying at Inon Center is that it's right across the street from Gimli's best cappuccinos. You can find those at Flatlanders and they're amazing. also super close to some of the best baked goodies in town. So we visited the Sugar Me Cookie Boutique Bakery and they sell a variety of different things. They're well known for their traditional Icelandic cake, which I think is called Vina Terta. Totally said that wrong, guaranteed, but um, so we got a little slice of that. It's not chocolate. Don't think it's chocolate. Mm, I love chocolate. I know, but it's not chocolate. Yeah, it's like dates and prunes and stuff. Mmm, that's pretty good. It's got like a, a really dense, sort of icing-y feel to it. And it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet because it is made with dates and whatever, prunes and stuff. It's good. Yeah, I like that. It's hearty. I call it hearty. It's a good breakfast cake. Mm -hmm. It would be really good with coffee. Gimli's popular store, Turgesson's, has been satisfying shoppers for generations, including us. They've got everything at that store. You can pop in for an item of clothing, a pair of sandals, giftware, games, seriously, anything you can think of you can find there. Another thing we recommend doing if you're in Gimli is popping over to Winnipeg Beach. It's a short drive and a great way to spend the afternoon. You can take a quick walk along the boardwalk or if you have more time, you can do a whole beach day here. Another thing not to be missed in the area is stopping for delicious food at White Wold Emporium. It's only 20 minutes from Gimli, so it's perfect to drop in on the way to Gimli or, like we did, on the way back to Winnipeg. Drunken chicken. Very happy. It's super tasty. The chicken is like so juicy and yummy. We even grabbed a new plant from their lovely greenhouse. 